All right. So anyway, you may notice something is critically wrong here. I shouldn't say wrong, just, you know, accurate. But yes, your eyes do not deceive you. Dan Campbell is coaching a zero overall team. Oh, no. Maybe, um... Yeah! Um, I have a zero overall team. There's gonna have to be some cheese to this system. So I'm signing and trading Colin Kaepernick. Any questions? Oh man, this is outdated as heavens. Oh, blur it, blur it, blur it now. It's not allowed. Okay, for some reason, that worked. So Colin Kaepernick just got traded to the Giants. Um, I'll try not to completely rig this, but um, I do think it'd be funny if I just sign like one random really good player. We need someone who can carry a lineup like no one else. The greatest player of all time. The one. The only. Steven Gutzkowski. I know we're going to win 67 games. Right, well, let's just get to the tank bowl. Somehow we did not make it to the Super Bowl. I don't know how that could be possible. We had negative 12 rushing yards a game. We lost 84-6 to against the Packers. But on the bright side, Cam Newton played and threw two touchdowns and 30 interceptions. Oh my goodness, Mr. Newton. Okay, year one was a little bit of a bust, guys. I'm not going to lie to you. But at least the other teams with the picks we had might have been good, right, guys? The Rams went 5-12, and 12, and the Giants went 9-8 and eight and missed the playoffs because they're the Giants and they aren't allowed to feel happy. Luckily for us, Dan Campbell knows where the bodies are hid, and so he gets to keep his job. Oh my gosh, the Falcons won the Super Bowl. I'm happy. How did they do that? Mike Davis ran for 154 yards. My goodness, this game is unrealistic. Release everybody. Just, 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 just release everybody. All right, luckily, year two, we're up to an 18 overall, or 19 overall even, which is, you know, better, technically. I go out and sign former Super Bowl kicker, Young Lake Hoop, because in the game, I don't need to explain myself. I thought it'd be funny if we had a really good fullback. Just nothing else. Just a fullback. No explanation needed. I then took a gander at the running back market and took late season Lenny. And I find in my search, the GOAT, DJ Reed. And world-renowned draft bust, DeAndre Baker. I'll probably simulate the first two seasons, but we do have the number one and two overall pick. And with that pick, uh, we're going to need a quarterback, but is he good? He's fast and strong. Seems like the perfect first overall pick. Hidden development quarterback, Brandon Valentine. Perfect selection. I accept an offer with the Bengals to move back to the fourth overall pick, but get a third next year and a seventh this year. Luckily, they select two offensive linemen, world-renowned players that are not good in Madden. You know what they say? Some risks are worth taking. Hidden development. And with that 30th pick, we do need a safety, so I select one. It's that simple. What do you want? So anyway, I take the fastest guy in the draft. We The next week approaches, and we are now a sharp 44 overall. Which isn't good, but when was the last time you saw a team improve 30 overalls in a season? Anyway, I'm somewhat merciful, so I sign what's left of Morgan Moses to block for my poor, poor quarterback. 
I am now debating what the next move in the game is. Because there's no way we're contending, right? Who are we paying so much money? That explains it, doesn't it? So basically I ship off a bunch of these clowns. Or at least in a perfect world I could, but unfortunately... Uh, not only is this the most in-debt league in human history. Uh, nobody wants any single one of these people, so. Unfortunately, I cannot release them. Even managing the problem doesn't work, as nobody can afford this villain, this fiend. No one can afford him. He's too much. So I consider releasing him. Because, oh my gosh, nobody wants this man here. Well, that frees 10 million. I'll take it, bro. What is this? Oh my gosh, it's the guy. It's Chris, you know. Now, it would be cruel to make poor, our poor quarterback play in these conditions. It would be, frankly, offensive to make the poor man play. Okay, so that's not a good call, but maybe we can trade him. If I include a 6th from next year, and you give me a 7th from next year, will you accept this? Okay, they accepted it, which means I no longer have that stupid contract. I mean, I do, but you get it. But I am a merciful head coach, and will now do the only right thing, which is to bench everybody. Except the receivers, because nobody cares. Some of you need practice. And really, I just don't want my quarterback to throw 30 interceptions and get his head torn off, if you must know. So basically, it's Fitzpatrick. It's Fitz Magic time. It, it's Fitz Magic time. I'm sorry for this, Ryan. Ryan Fitzpatrick has come out of retirement to save us. Look at him. All right, now that the tank is fully prepared, uh, let's just enjoy the show. All right. Entering week one atop the power rankings. That's going to last, I'm sure. It's opening day this week and a fresh start for every team around the league and you'll be facing the Packers. What's the key to victory? There isn't one. We're going to give up. It's that simple. All right, Ryan, have fun out there. He's going to die. Yeah, season two, same thing, 0-17. Although, it's worth noting, we were 14th in defensive passing yards per game. How? Probably because of that safety. Good call, mate. Fitzpatrick actually had a decent season. That's depressing. Late season winning, showed up, kind of, a little bit, and existed. That's cool. Good for him. Uh, Myers, Gales, and Knox did decently. Now, we had two sacks. Ashley grabbed interceptions. And Addison Wall is not bad. Don't worry, Addison, things are going to turn around, I promise. Just you wait. Just you wait. Somehow, Dan Campbell is now ranked the 38th best coach of all time, even though he is currently 0-34. So, you know, this game might be on acid. Struggling QB. It's almost like it's... Brian Fitzpatrick behind literally no offensive line. The negotiations were short. Except for you. You stay. But Montez Sweat might be a good maneuver. Bring in a pass rusher. This is also why I go after Ed Oliver. Really lock up that 55 overall defense. Assign Tressway because I think it'd just be funny. We are in dire need of a tight end, so Anthony Farkser will have to join the team. Followed closely 
by actual offensive lineman Jonah Williams. Anyway, a massive overpayment later. I offer for Clinton Farrell. Is he going to accept it? No. But that I offer? Yes. Results vary. Ain't that right, Farrell? Now it is time for the draft. Some poor sap will be selected first overall and then third overall to come and play for the Detroit Lions. I'd feel bad for you if it wasn't so funny. Moving back to 15th while also getting a pick next year. Why? Because I hate the world, if you must know. Ultimately, I decide to trade again and maybe hope to compete after the next year. Anyway, I traded back to 18 and got a 24 first and third from the Cleveland Browns. Who will select? Of course they do. I ultimately decide to select Jared Madden because he has to be good. See what I mean? It's time to take a risk and take Joe Dixon, who is also hidden potential offensive lineman. I must select someone who can truly lock down a number one receiver. Somebody like Glenn Camp, hidden development. I'm going off right now. So I select a center who's strong. What do you want from me? It's the main point in life. I also decided to give Alan Lazard a chance because I need another wide receiver. What do you want me as a... Hopefully by next year we'll be contenders because I'm betting on it. Now with a defense that is present and accounted for and an offense that is, you know, serviceable. The team looks decent. 